got sent this link on my Facebook page for this, uh, it was a Yahoo question. Somebody had asked the Yahoo group, you know, and the question was something like, you know, what's a ni nice easy way to commit suicide with the least amount of fuss and mess? That wasn't the exact question, but it was that kind of spirit anyway. Uh, and what, it was actually circulated to me because the suggestion was we all send this question, this page, to Vince Cable. If you're not uh, familiar with UK politics, that'll mean nothing to you, but he's a very beleaguered member of our coalition government right now. We're probably looking for that kind of advice. But anyway, the um, what, what, what was striking about, for me at least, what was striking about this um, question and its responses was the fact that in those responses, and there was dozens of responses then, probably more now, no one took it seriously and just answered the damn question. You know, there's a few comedy responses. Uh, but most of them were kind of offers of help. You know, not, not, not answering the guy's damn question. Assuming it was a guy, it might have been a woman, who knows. But not answering the question. But, uh, you know, either saying, well, you know, put your faith in Jesus, or uh, think of the future, or one day at a time. Or suicide's a temporary solution, a permanent solution to a temporary problem, or you need to get out, or you need a friend, or you know, some people are quite compassionate about this. You know, I'll be your friend, call me, let's keep in touch, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but as I say, nobody just taking the request at face value and giving the guy, you know, clear instructions on how you might go about it, or a source of that, source of that information. I guess it's just because it's such a taboo subject, isn't it, really? And the idea that we might offer a person some advice in that way, of course, you know, flies against all of the, the taboos about, you know, preserving life and the sacredness of life and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, and I don't think that's just theological. I think that's historical and probably evolutionary sense as well. You know what I mean? I would imagine in our history... And, and the history that we're living out day to day now, you know, the, the uh, in genetic terms, the species, the, the animal that opts for suicide is probably not the one that, left, that leaves its mark in the next generation, is it really? It's the ones who foolishly hang on to life. You know, it's the it's the lichen that can grow under the most to severe climatic conditions. It's the uh, these weird creatures that can live at the deepest depth of the sea, it's the animals that can uh, survive in the greatest flexibility of, of environments that can that persist and you know and psychologically I guess that uh, you know that resistance to death you know, is experienced as this kind of sacredness for life we might not think of it as sacred but the the uh, the impossibility of death in the mind of someone living seems to be our seems to be the traces that the evolutionary history has left behind in us and uh, I know as I say manifest socially as a taboo against encouraging or even just acceding to someone's desire to die it surprises me sometimes why people don't die more often actually you know why people don't bow out. It's always a surprise that, you know, because people go through enormous amounts of pain and suffering. And, of course, many people have dependence. Uh, and that those things keep you in, you know, they keep you in the game. Because you have all these feelings of guilt around, oh, God, I can't die now, what will my family do? All that kind of stuff. But even so, you know, even with all that in place, it is quite surprising. I don't want to embarrass anybody, but my, uh, the person my, 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 in my family who I am most surprised by in that regard is my own mother actually. My mum is 95. Incredibly happy person. I mean a bit doolally you know, obviously at that age. But uh, incredibly happy you know and always says oh yes I'm really great. I've had a good life. It's all oh it's all been worth it. <laughs> and I always think are you sure? Are you absolutely sure about that? I would never say it to her because you wouldn't want to upset someone, would you? But um, are you sure? Because she had it so bad. You know, I mean, I just... I didn't even know about half the crappiness of it until later. But it was seriously crap. I mean, when I was a little lad, you know, far too young to really know what was going on. But in the space of about two years, three years, really, there was this whole kind of catalogue of disasters. 
First her, da her mum died of cancer after a prolonged illness during which my granddad nursed his, uh, his wife. So she had a horrible end which my mum had to kind of, you know, participate in and witness. Then not long after that, my granddad, uh, who just, just couldn't live without his wife, so he put his head in the gas oven and killed himself. At that time, British gas was, was coal gas and it was poisonous. Uh, so he gassed himself, and then, um, which couldn't have been much fun, you know, for Elsie, my mum. And then, uh, oh, I don't know, just a few, a couple of months after that, really, possibly brought on by that, for all I know, she had a miscarriage, kind of public, terrible, bleeding miscarriage in the middle of Middlesbrough bus station. And, uh, you know, was really ill as a result of that, because she'd lost so much blood. Uh... And then what, then about, oh, probably less than a year after that, both my brothers, my older brothers, Keith and Bernard, both got polio. And polio was a fucking killer at the time. That was the disease. Uh, Bernard pulled through. You know, he's, he's got some deafness and he's sterile as a result of that. But, uh, but Keith didn't pull through. He died as a result of the, and the story she tells us. Oh, God, she still cries when she talks about Keith. Because at that time, you know, if you had polio, they, they took the child off you and you never took, touched the child again. They, you know, it was, it was, there was a sealed ward. So you could just see Bernard and Keith behind, the, uh, behind this glass screen. Uh, you know, these two little, two little lads lying in cots behind the glass screen. And then one day there was just one little lad in a cot. So that was that, you know. And uh, so, you know, she managed to survive that. And all this time she's married to my dad, and my dad was uh, much younger than her and, and uh, a bit troubled and probably a bit of an arsehole as well, actually. And he was carrying on with other women and knocking her about, and he put her in hospital at one point, with his knocking her about stuff. You know, to the point where she had to, like, run away. And so we ended up in the children's home for a while, the surviving children went to a children's home. So just absolutely horrific experiences for her. And yet she um, didn't kill herself. You know, that would have been the obvious solution, it seems to me. Oh, this game isn't working. I better go back and get myself some new cards dealt. Or I better just ch chip the whole lot in, you know, and not bother anymore. But for some reason... the guy, Phoebe, come on! For some reason she didn't. And now she says, it's all worth it. I think she's a deluded old fool. No, she's not an old fool, but she is clearly... Um, looking through this horrific history with rose tinted glasses in the way that life just makes us do that doesn't it, it just makes you survive and makes you enjoy it somehow because um, I guess because historically those are the people, people who have been able to do that the ones who keep going in the teeth of adversity are the animals that have successfully grown as lichen on the yon side of a rock or as 95 year old ladies in residential homes in Lancashire. <sighs> yeah. So it's not entirely surprising that guy didn't get any sensible answers to his question, really, I suppose. There's probably websites where you can get that information anyway.